Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be diving into the air source heat pumps that we have to offer here at Blue Eight Renewables. Today we have Lewis. Hello. He'll be answering some questions that you may have as a customer that can help you understand how it works a bit more and if an air source heat pump is for you. Yep. Ready to dive into it? Yep, fine. Let's start off with how can they get an air source heat pump? What, what options are there? Okay, so the government have introduced the boiler upgrade scheme, uh, otherwise known as the bus voucher. And what that is, is a seven and a half thousand pound voucher to offset the cost of the installation of an air source heat pump. So there is obviously from the customer's part still gonna be a part to pay, but the seven and a half thousand pound will offset the vast majority in most cases of the cost of a heat pump. Again, from what you've seen online, some of the news, you know, they're looking at trying to have 600,000 heat pumps in by 2028. So the vouchers are limited, but that is, that's kind of where, the, where it is at the minute. So they've brought this onto the market, seven and a half thousand pounds, completely free. And obviously then as a customer, you have to outlay the last bit to then make up the rest of the installation cost. With the cost, yeah. once you minus, you know, the 7,500 that the government give you, yeah. roughly on average, I know it's hard to say, depending customer to customer, but on average, how much does it cost? So every property is different. Okay, so our prices here at Blue 8, they start from £1,600. That's what the customer would have to initially outlay themselves, okay? But again, all comes down to how big the property is, what size heat pump you need, whether the pipe work needs replacing, how many radiators need replacing. So there's a lot of factors that come into play when it comes to pricing an air source heat pump. And just, you touched on the radiators. What would it be that, why would someone need to change their radiators? So if you've got single panel radiators, Okay, in most cases they're not powerful enough to output the heat the property or the, the room will require. Because when you're sizing an air source heat pump, okay, you, you, you've got to meet requirements. So your living areas, they've got to be at 21 degrees. Okay, your bathroom has got to be 22 degrees. And your bedrooms have got to be 18 degrees. Right. So this is where it all comes into play with the heat loss. The heat loss is so important about actually sizing to make sure that this pump is going to be, the heat pump is going to be easy enough to be able to heat them rooms to them temperatures. So in terms of the benefit, yeah. how can an air source heat pump benefit a customer can make, maybe if they need to replace a boiler because it's gone wrong or they, they want to be more, you know, energy efficient. Why is it so beneficial? Well, the biggest benefit now is obviously the fact that the government are handing out the seven and a half thousand pound vouchers. So an air source heat pump, you know, when serviced correctly every year, will outlast two gas or electric boilers okay it's got a life expectancy of around about 20 to 25 years also it's 300 to 500 percent efficient so for every compared one, to a traditional to, yeah so for every one kilowatt of electric it gives you three to five kilowatts of heat moving forward the way the world's going it's all well, we're all looking into that renewable avenue unit and, and so to speak so by having this heat pump there you know you are offsetting and you're future proofing your property if you've got a solar panel system as well mm -hmm. The solar panel system will offset the running cost of the heat pump from March through to September because your heat pump will only really do your hot water, your hot water in the summer. So obviously then in the winter months, you know, that's when the, the solar panel system will, will kind of just give it a bit of a top up, so to speak. And how do heat pumps perform in, in the winter? You know, you spoke about the summer, but how do they perform in the winter if they're just by themselves? Yeah, so if obviously, depending on what heat pump that is that you've got, you know, but heat pumps will easily perform down to minus 15 degrees, okay, and, and comfortably heat your hot water and your radiators to make sure that you've actually got the temperature that you require inside of the home. And who's eligible for this? What is clear rules to eligibility to get this grant for somebody? Okay, so the three main qualifying criteria are as follows. Number one, you need to own your property. Number two, you need to have a valid in-day EPC, which we here at Blue Ape can sort, or the customer can sort it themselves, if there's not one online already. And number three, you need to be replacing a fossil fuel boiler. And it's just a fossil fuel yeah. boiler. Here at Blue Ape, what we'll do is, we'll obviously look at the, the EPC that you've got online, if you have one. We'll have a look at the property to make sure that you've got the right clearances, to make sure also that the property isn't too big. Anything over 250 square meters, 
you potentially may be going to then start needing to look at two air source heat pumps. We'll do all the legwork here at Blue 8 for you. We'll make sure the property is suitable. We'll also book in the heat loss server if you're happy. We'll make sure that it's a smooth transition from a fossil fuel boiler to an air source heat pump installation. We'll look after everything for you. We'll take care of the voucher. We'll take care of the installation. It's hassle-free from a customer perspective. You mentioned about having the EPC online. Is there any concerns if someone doesn't necessarily have their EPC online? Yeah, so if you don't have an EPC, obviously we can recommend an EPC assessor for them, okay? But also as well, when you actually go on the government website to look at EPCs, it will actually bring up EPC assessors in your area as well. Okay. So the customer can go and get one themselves, or if they wanted to, we can look at it and we can look at that one for them. And you mentioned about applying for it. As the customer, you completely don't need to do that. It's, it's all done here in-house at Blue 8. Yep. Is that right? Blue 8 will deal with everything for you from the first initial phone call to booking in the heat loss survey to going through the heat loss report to applying for the voucher to completing the installation. We will go through all of that and make it, like I said, a smooth transition for you. So when is the ideal time to, to install it? Is it now in, the, in you know, December, January time? Is it in the summer? Is it in between now? What, is there an ideal time at all? The ideal time is now. And the reason being is the seven and a half thousand pound voucher is available. It's not an endless pot of money. Here at Blue Ape as well, one thing that we will do is, because I know people have some concerns that, oh, if they're taking the heating system out over winter and stuff like that, they're going to be cold. But at Blue Ape, we'll actually supply like small fan heaters to keep the property warm oh, so okay. if there is a couple of days where the heating might be off so that's one thing that we'll do for our customers we'll make sure that they'll, the, the, you know they'll be left with some form of heating in the property and that will be including the cost of the actual yeah. heating if it needed to go off yeah. it would yeah but yeah going back to it now is the time to install this voucher is not going to be around forever you know every, everywhere you look now people are trying to go renewables you know so yeah now is the time to act Thank you very much, Lewis, for all the valuable information. You're very welcome. If you have any more questions, something we've not answered in this video, please just pop them in the comments. Lewis or Craig, who's very jealous he's not in the video today, um, will be able to answer all your questions. And if you have anything else, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there as well. And thank you very much for watching today's video. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.